Today. Other interesting cultural news. You have Dove Soap promoting fat liberation, quote unquote, and hiring a morbidly obese woman who is also a BLM activist and apparently a serial liar who got people fired. Now, this person is by the name of Ziana Bry Byrant. Bryant? Z Y A H N A? Ziana? Byrant. B R Y A N T. And this person was hired directly by Dove to promote fat liberation. American values, both mentally and physical, seem to be, I was about to say, down the sewer, down the drain. Perhaps a more appropriate metaphor would be, mm, down the Bud Light drain. Now, it looks like Zayak, Zayana, this is a woman, of course, because it is fascinating enough, everyone has this, these, they have fat pride, but not for men. Because, of course, no one should have fat pride to begin with. But it is hilarious, it's a, it's a one group that they don't, they kind of just push to the side. But... Another topic for another time. Now, it looks like Zanna Brandt was a community, community organizer and student activist studying at the University of Virginia. And it looks like she actually has a video. And thank God you can't see this because I want to say it'll break. What is it? It takes up the whole screen. Jeez. But let me see here. View on Instagram. Oh, it's going to be painful. Because she has, of course, she has a speech. Oh, let's see here. Where's the volume for Instagram? Technology's great when it works. Oh, let's see. Miss Ziana. Oh, here it is. All right, so she is... Cool. She couldn't fit in a smart car, let's just say that. Or a Hummer, but. Bring the voices and experiences of the most marginalized people and communities at all times. So when I think about what fat liberation looks like to me, it looks like centering the voices and the experiences of those who live in and who maneuver through spaces and institutions in a fat body. It it, did she make a pun on herself? It's hard to maneuver. I mean, physically, yes, of course, it is difficult, perhaps why you should adjust your caloric intake. And, I should make a caveat. It is sad because some people do have medical issues. Some people do the, to their G there's a many myriad of reasons why someone may be overweight. And some of it is because of prescription drugs, because of the side effects, metabolism. There are some things where it is sad because some people cannot, but we have this more and more in the United States where they are glorifying voluntary overweight and obesity and overall laziness, which I find morally abhorrent and disgusting. So, just a little caveat, perhaps to beat the comment section, time shall tell. It looks like making accessible spaces and having conversations. Accessible, sp that is difficult because you have to reinforce the floors and some of those floors are only rated for 10,000 pounds. So it's, it's an engineering, I was about to say nightmare, it's an engineering phenomenon. It, it'll keep those gentlemen busy. That are aware of the fact that people have different bodies and that they are interacting with space and people and institutions and communities in a different way. Fat liberation looks like fully embracing those differences and having those conversations instead of shying away from them. To learn more about fat liberation and the campaign for size freedom that Dove is supporting, visit dove.com forward slash size freedom. Tap in, join the campaign, support the campaign. This is important and we should all be talking about it. No, no to, no to everything. Now, selfishly, in terms of why would Dove want this? Well, I have my conspiracy theories, although perhaps it's just a fact that'll be let known tomorrow. Dove is owned by Unilever, one of the largest multinational companies on the planet. Dove would benefit in many ways with actually actively encouraging people to work out less, eat copious amounts of food. Unilever owns many ice cream brands. So they're selling a lot of ice cream, a lot of fatty foods. And they also sell soap. So what if we could win on both ends of the political aisle? Let's get a lot of people eating these fatty foods. And then with the soap, there's a lot of surface area to work with. You're going to need a high volume, not 12, maybe 11 and a half dove bars for that surface area to cover it appropriately. So it would improve, it will improve their sales if it works, but there's also a boycott 
Dove trending on the Twitter. Because again, from a society and cultural perspective, I believe we should be encouraging everyone to be the best they can be. Read a book, go to the gym, eat a salad, get a good blender. I always, again, my three cents of my personal health, even working 105 hours a week, I still exercise every day. I make time for it. And I also have a nice blender where if I have vegetables, throw it in the blender, blend it up, drink it. Less than two minutes. It's all about choices. And we used to actually, in the United States, encourage people to make healthy choices. To work harder, to work like hell, climb the corporate ladder, be the best you can possibly be, mentally and physically. Everyone can improve, including myself, of course. Just look at the comments of this in the YouTube videos. You'll hear half of them talking about how I can't talk, which it has some truth to it, of course, since I usually struggle with enunciation, I speak too quick, but it is something I actually work on literally on a daily basis. And if there weren't more truth in the world, I would never know that. If everyone were to lie and just say, oh yeah, you sound perfect, the show would never get better. Very similar in this instance, I believe the truth is always better than the lie. So you should not tell them that, yes, you're beautiful, you look great just the way you are, have no hamburger or milkshake. Let them know the ugly truth, because otherwise they'll never improve their life. You're, ro you're literally robbing them of opportunity to improve themselves. And it's one of those things where I encourage harsh critique, both in my business and my YouTube show. Because as much as it may hurt, it's how you grow, it's how you develop. And thanks to the comments, at least let me know, I've had some improvement on speaking slower and more articulate, and I've had to put a lot of effort into that. So it is fascinating to see from a cultural perspective, we are just more and more and more acquiescing to the ever-growing trend of mediocrity. And again, I'll make that caveat for the second time. It is sad some people do have inherited medical issues where they will be overweight. I'm not saying this doesn't exist. I'm making the argument that many, if not a majority of the cases, it's voluntary. It's because of circumstances that they are choosing. And I'll actually cut off the one thing in terms of someone's going to complain about, it costs a lot of money to eat healthy. No, it doesn't. When I first started my business, I lived below the poverty line. I would buy a two bag pound of carrots from Walmart for, I think it was $1.99. You could buy affordable, raw, healthy food. It might not be convenient because you have to prepare it at home and it doesn't come pre-packaged, which yeah, pre-packaged is very expensive. And food on the go, yes, that's difficult to find food on the go that's healthy at an affordable price. But if you work, again, it's all about choices. I woke up er extra early, I would prepare my food myself. So again, you are in control, but that's the last self-motivation we'll do for the time being. In terms of getting back to Brianna, there's a, or Byron, there's a lot of content on here. And it looks like, oh my gosh, my eyes hurt. At age 12, she organized her first demonstration, a rally for Trayvon Martin during an unarmed, during that controversy. Byron 22. She went on to organize the Black Student Union at her high school, joined the Charlotte Youth Council. So she is, again, some, I'm not saying all of these act, political activities are bad. I think it's, in terms of a campaign for a brand, you're choosing someone who is politically driven, which that in and of itself is a risk as well. But then it looks like, I'm trying to see the article evidence in which, do, 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 do. There's someone saying that she actually lied and got someone in a lot of trouble, unfortunately. Oh yeah, there's bettering, do, 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 do. Bettering. Ah, uh, here we go. Let's see here, a truck driver. Um, looks like, let's see here. Here we go. So a counter protester by the name of oh, Heather, Heather Heyer, 32, was deliberately run over and killed. Oh, life of murder, declared, could reveal. In July 2020, better. Who is, I'm trying to find the person's whole name. So it looks like in 2020, amid the George Floyd protest, uh, putting on the framing of, you know, every website's a little bit different. Some call it a protest, some call it a riot. 
fascinating framing how it works. Now it says, in July 2020, amid the George Floyd protest, Better Bedinger mistakenly drove into a street where protesters gathered. As she tried to get away, her car was encircled. Now, Bedinger said that she told a truck driver who was in front of her and blocking the way, it's a good thing you're here because otherwise these people might have been speed bumps. Byron tweeted that Bedinger had said the protesters would have, quote, made good speed bumps. So, literally lying about what she said. It looks like Bedinger was quickly identified and the, with the revelation that she was pro-police and with a late father who worked for a police force, there were more outrage about, around her critics. It looks like Byron and others called for severe punishment and expulsion from the W or the UVA. Because she said, it's a good thing you're here, otherwise they would have been speed bumps. You want her to be expelled of that. They literally, literally lied about what she said. Now it looks like Byron then embarked on an email campaign to have her expelled, tweeting, quote, email these UVA deans now demand that Morgan face consequences for her actions and the UVA stop graduating racist. Another common thing you'll see, again, where was any evidence of racism? It seems to be a hobby for some folks to just make it all up because they know society will frown about it, as they should. Racism is ugly and disgusting. It's morally abhorrent. But... It's also been used so often, and now that it's been used as a political bludgeon so often, you see in this case, they're using it and there wasn't any real racism that is evident. With the evidence we have all right here, I'm not seeing it. Now, Byron was mistake, subsequently shunned at college and even stalked from her hometown, making her fear of safety. UVA's Judiciary Committee later found Bettinger guilty of making a legitimate threat despite being unable to prove Byron's claim about her intentions. Its jurors told her that even saying the words in a harmless manner during an anti-racism protest of the summer of 2020 merited punishment. Byron also filed a complaint with the school's Office for Equal Opportunity and Civil Rights, where the student activist blamed Bettinger and made the statement five, five times, made the statement five times, and had discriminated against Byron on the basis of race. EOCR found that three of the five accusations could not be corroborated, and Byron herself later admitted she may have misheard. So Byron, the giant new spokesperson for Dove, later claims, oh yeah, she may have misheard it. May have misheard it. Oh, interesting. Now, most damningly, the, the report, which was brought forth because of Byron's complaint, found Byron was most likely, most likely did not hear Byroniger making the comment firsthand, no eyewitnesses were able to corroborate Byron's version of the events. Continuing saying, quote, Based on Byron's immediate and surprising tone following the second and third party's reply, EOCR finds it more likely than not that it was at that moment Byron's first learned that Benjamin made a statement about protesters making speed bumps report. And so the Judiciary Committee ruling is still noted on her permanent record, ruining the graduates' chances of going to law school. Benjamin is considering a lawsuit. Yes. So they found someone who is ugly, not just on the outside, but on the inside with her morals, which I was always someone who was of the opinion that you judge a man by his actions and his morals. I can't consider a work spokesman than this person who literally lied to try to get someone expelled. That It's hard to say what I find more moral, more abor what's more abhorrent, physically or mentally, trying to destroy someone's life in college and now that person might not ever be able to middle school. School, Again, I'm trying to work on the enunciation more and more. Slowly but surely, getting there, as a side note. But it is ridiculous that they hire this person as spokesman. And perhaps it's part of the plan. They want us lazy, unintelligent, big, so we can't fight back. I don't know. It is interesting to see, why do you think Dove chose this person to be their brand ambassador for fat liberation? Is it to boost their sales of ice cream? Which again, the parent company owns both. Is it just the new trend in social media? But thankfully there are still some folks who have a modicum of intelligence and Boycott Dove was trending on the Twitter or known as X. So it looks like I may not be alone in that opinion. And I certainly hope people at home hear this and they just, again, everyone can be better. Take extra little step today. Literally just take an extra step walking somewhere. 
It's fascinating to see how things can improve in the aggregate when you just do a little bit more every single day, which I believe everyone is capable of, including and especially myself, specifically for the show, trying to slow down my speech patterns and, of course, enunciate. And someday it will be much better. I'll be able to pontificate much more accurately and appreciate your patience as, again, try to make the show better together. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, I know Sam Biss is trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of September, so if you can click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, the comments help the channel grow and develop. All the critique is greatly appreciated as I try to do everything from enunciate more, slowing down my voice, and still searching for better software so we can do the picture-in-picture -picture with the video. I tried another one, but I don't know it's because of my newer 4K camera. It keeps crashing. So if you have suggestions, I would greatly appreciate them. And of course, don't forget to take the time to like the video because that helps with the algorithm and gives me feedback on if I need to maybe do something a little bit better. And also, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.